<laughs> Hi everybody, my name's Antoinette and this is Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about the board games you might just want to have in your own collection. Today is a very exciting day, we're doing a playthrough for a game that's coming to Kickstarter pretty soon, with a smile and a gun. This is my other half, Brian. I am your other half, Yes, Excellent. Yes, this is my other half, Brian. And so today we're going to play with a smile and a gun. Um, so this game is coming to Kickstarter on the 14th of... July. I'm glad you remember that month. I'm terrible with months. And this is the first game published from John Valoran. And he is a Canadian designer. Canadia. Yes, it's a great place. It's a fabulous place. And this is a really, really fun game. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. And then we're going to play it. And you're going to interject and tell me when I've said something incorrect or mistakenly. You never say anything incorrect. Thank you. That's very important that you remember that for the rest of your life. <laughs> Um, so this is a game that's set in 1920s Prohibition area Chicago, I believe, or is it like a fantasy town? Fantasy. I like to think of it as Chicago. I don't know why. That's a really mobster place, isn't it? Chicago. Mm, well, in my mind, it is. It's to hell, but yeah. <laughs> and so in this game, you are a mobster, and you're trying to gain control of specific regions of the map. So you see all these little regions. Um, there are also police, which you must avoid. Um, and what the game is really well, they're, about? They're more competing with you for for everything. Well, they get in your way, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, they get in your way. Um, and so how you win this game is by collecting um, hats, which have victory point items on them. Um, there's also prizes for having the most of a particular type of item, which come as gambling, narcotics, and weapons. Weapons, yeah. It's kind of a serious thing, isn't it, to be part of the theme? I like that gambling is worth more than weapons, though. Really? Well, I suppose yeah. it would make you money, right? Yeah. Yeah, you gamble with your money, you make more money. I think I could make money with a gun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so what you do is we're going to be rolling dice on the turn. That will determine how far we get to go around. Yeah. We place out these influence markers in the zones, and then we get to see who won. Yeah. And we're going to do this three times in total, and then we'll determine the winner. Correct. And anything else I've forgotten, we'll add in as we go. There are some very cool special things you get to do in your turn, but sure, we'll talk about those as we play yeah, so them. So roll off two goes first. Two okay, dice. go on. You always roll 2d6. Why is yeah. it two? You it's go better. first. No. That looked like a nine. Nine. That looked eight. like an eight. Yep. Okay. So okay. Brian so is going to be playing green, um, because it is your favorite color, and yep. I'm going to be yellow. This is a two-player only title, by the way, because I haven't mentioned it yet. Yeah. Whoop! So it's just for you and a friend. So we start off by running off all the dice, and then you get to choose how far your meeple moves. So I'm going to move with your two. First pick. You're going to move two. Okay. So I move always clockwise. So yeah. One, two. Two. And then we put a three influence in the first area, yeah. then close to it. Mm -hmm. Then I spread my influence a little bit further, and then, and then a tiny bit out to the, the end. end. Yeah. So you want to have the most colored cubes in the zone. And then I pick first. a dice for an action. Yep. So the actions are listed here. These are kind of interesting. So with the number one dice, you get to add a policeman. Yeah. Yeah. There's no with, ones. No, we've no ones. If with a two or a three, you get to move one of your cubes into another area. Into another area. That's kind of a cool idea. Okay, four and a five. You get to remove a cube from an area. This is my favorite one. Getting rid of your opponent. And six cubes. as you put down two. Now, the two. more you spend on actions, yes. will, the heat will come on you later. Yes, exactly. And we'll get to that, I suppose, as we go through the steps of the so round. I'm going so to be dangerous. The, the sizing it up, uh, sizing it up phase. Roll all the dice. Okay. Yeah. So what are you going to do no, with your number the six? You have it, well, I suppose you are moving and acting, yeah. yeah. You get these really nice um, little player aids. I really like them. This yeah. is what one side looked like. So you've got actions, and the other has got your round overview. Um, oh, what are you doing? I'm doing six <laughs> actions as we put out two cubes onto yeah. adjacent areas. I know, I'm kind of like, oh no, what do I think? Right, so my go? Yeah. So how far do I want my meeple to go? Any distance but one. See, I don't like that you are claiming this whole zone with all the hats. It's just a bit much. Is there a three? Yes, there is a three. So I'm going to move three. And so you place this one out here. Yeah. So one, two, three. Yeah. So I get three influence in this zone where you were also wanting influence because I can't let you have hats to yourself. Oh, you're trying to get the gambling. <laughs> I'm knowing about gambling. I just place stuff down and then I get to choose which action I want to do. I want the one that gets rid of your tokens. I right. think it, it's actually my favorite action. So I'll pick a four and I'll get rid of your cube. Ha! Oh, oh, it's going to be that way. You, yeah, you, now me and the cops are tied. You one day left of time. <laughs> okay, so that's your go. Okay, so so we're going to do this three times in total um, before we'll move one, on to like, two, the next phases. Three. Where there are all kinds of fun and exciting things to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Involving the shadow. This is the shadow, people. Where's Alec Baldwin when you need them? <laughs> there we go. Okay. 
You're getting a lot of green cubes places. I don't know if I'm impressed with your strategy. I would be very impressed with my strategy. Mm -hmm. I put two into adjacent areas. So you may have noticed that there are the different colored items you can get in each zone and there is then a, a reward for having the most of those type of items. If for some reason you manage to have the item and your opponent has none of those, you get like a ton of points for that. Yeah, on you the get other to have side. a monopoly. You get to have a monopoly on it. Yeah, you get double points for the monopoly. Um, the interesting thing is you'll notice that purple isn't up there with those other items and that's because purple allows you to do something really special and it gives you an infusion so we've these over here and each time you play the game you get a different infusion to play with so they're not always the same. Correct. So what's our infusion do this time Brian? Drop it allows ones. you to move a cube from any area to another area even if it's not your own. Even if it's not your own? That's kind of cool. Yep. So you're allowed to mess with people's cubes. I like that. Um, okay so but we'd have to get a purple token to achieve this. Where do I want to go next? The problem I have the with this moon. game is I'm not good at thinking, and we don't have a one. Why is my life being so difficult? I want to get that one. So if I want to get there, um, um, one, two, three. yeah, we have a three. So three. One, two, three. All the way over, little meepo. Yeah. And then put the three in there. That is a lot of green cubes in there, Brian. Nah, it's only five. It's good that there are like second spots as well, so you don't have to always win to get something good. Mm, there we go, I win that. And then I get to do an action. What uh, things have we left? Do, 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 do. do I want to move the cube? That's it, should be there. <laughs> yeah, you have to keep track of your action ones because yeah. that matters. That'll determine how much heat you're getting, you know, how active you are in the community. What do I want to do? What's six used to be good? Six sides put down two cubes. Let's do that. Six. We'll put down two cubes. God, we, we do like our sixes. And they have to be adjacent to me, is that right? Uh, adjacent, not just two, but adjacent to each, each other. Okay, that's not too bad. I like the look of this. And we'll get one in here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, so me. Mm -hmm. And where do I want to go? One, two, three. Mm -hmm. So everything but one and a six. Like you think so I think there. three is the best number for movement, uh. apparently. <laughs> so, one, two, three. That puts me up into the far corner. Excellent. You may have noticed that the title of this game is kind of unusual. It's quite a long title, isn't it, with a smile and a gun? Yeah. And that's because it comes from a quote, apparently. Do you know much about Al Capone? Um, other than he killed people. Okay, that's, that's pretty much, yeah, I don't know about much about Al Capone either, although he was a famous mobster. And he said a quote about being able to get far in life with, with a smile, a but further with a smile and a gun. gun. So that's where the title comes from. So I guess if you're into mobsters, this is your thing, right? Yeah. So I'm going to move oh. a guy from here, because he's getting, because you killed Paul Jimmy earlier. Sorry, he's <laughs> Poor Jimmy. Poor Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy the Snitch. That's what happened. Oh. He's it's... <laughs> Jimmy the Snitch now. He's that Snitch on you. Ah, oh, so I can, I can choose to be four or five. I have many options. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five gets me there. Four. I'll go with four, which I hope gets me where I think it is, which is here. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. And there we go. Now, I have to take the fives. Yep. And you I could take the other will... five. Yes, yes, these fives are like miraculous things. What so you do... can bin something. I know, I'm trying to decide which of your cubes I like least this one. Whoops. So, let's go. we've got to the end of this phase. So now we, so now we get to do casting the shadow. So you may notice there is a black people. He is the shadow. One, two, three, he four, now moves five. Equal to five. This. He gets to be in charge of that last dice that's left over on the round. But each shadow um, is different each game you play. So there's a whole host of shadows you'll see over here. This is our shadow. We have the historian. And yeah. what does the historian do? The historian does in any battles that he witnesses, he, instead of taking the cubes away, he records them so you get 50 points for them. That's cool. And if we don't get any of our history recorded, we lose 50 points at the end of the game. Okay, so we want to have the Shadow Meeple end next to our cube so they go on the card and give Correct. us points. So now, okay. feeling the heat. So so what's this to do with? This is the lowest attention. So we get my to attention is the sum of my actions. So okay. mine is 14. Yeah. Yours is 15. I know, I know, I'm ahead. So Brian gets to do something so really cool. What Jimmy Snitch to? only pretended to be dead. <laughs> he was really coming over to here. So you get to put a cube back out of your colour wherever you want. Yeah. Or you can put out two police cubes, right? So you Correct. can summon the cops. I can summon the cops. Which is kind of cool. 
Okay, yeah. I don't approve of you putting back out green cubes, to be fair. All right, so now it's time to settle so the score. score. So we start with the shallow location and move clockwise. Oh, yeah. So I have five, you have, have three, three, and the cops have, have four. four. So, so me yeah. and the cops win. So I am going to take, actually... So because you're the winner, you get to choose which victory points thing you want, or which item you want, right? Yeah, so I'm going to take the hat. The hat. So straight up victory points. So victory points. So what happens the second one? The cops so get it? The cops get the cops it. cops become gamblers? The cops remove it from the game. Uh, they, yes. they break up the den. Okay. They break up the exit. But because we witnessed a battle, five of my cubes go so, on here. Yeah. And three of yours. Oh, so even if I didn't win, I get to go on the historian? Yeah, the That's so, pretty cool. Actually, I will double check that. But as far as I know... It kind of looks like it. There's some nice symbology on the cards. So you, you know... It doesn't look like you have to win. I think you just have to be there. Yeah, That's you just good. have to be there. Cool. That's fantastic. Except for the police. The police never get recorded. No. They're not. So the, next the one, I win, so I'm going to take the three hats. Okay. The two hat with Templin. So this goes in the police pile. I wish I'd gotten like one cube out, but no, I'm not that smart. Okay, okay. Next, next. This one. So I win. That's okay. My yellow cubes will rise yeah, up soon. Your yellow cubes, so I'll take the six. Mm hmm. Cool. Get the, the three, but yeah. I'll go in the special police pile. Yes. So the next one. I get four, so I'll win. Why do you win? So I'm on four and you're on three. It's true, this is a number. Which one are you taking? It's a good question. I'm going to take the... Is it drugs? The dr oh no, it's weapons. It's weapons. I'll take the weapons. I don't know why I think the weapon looks like a syringe sometimes, but I do. It does, because the other one is a syringe. <laughs> the other one is a syringe. And you and the police battled out for second place, but you're tied. Ah, ah, I put three of oh them. Oh no, rewind the page so we know what happened. Well, there's only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. So I then, have to be no one gets this. So, mm -hmm. we're all tied up here, so yes. nothing happens. You're tied with the cops here, so nothing happens. Why am I tied with the cops? I should have won something by now. So now you win. Okay, fine. So you can choose six or three. I guess I'm going to take the larger number hat there. Just, you know. Mm -hmm. The police. You were the first player. I should have given you the first player token. Do this yeah. one. Here. I'll give it to you. That's I'll fair. give it to whoever's first. We're tied numbers. up here. And then you're tied up with the cops in the center. No! This is a terrible way to end the round. Okay, this is awful. So this is the setting the score phase. Yeah, but Ooh. you're yeah the, the cops have held you in check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we get we're going to move on to portion two. Portion two. Where we have to repopulate the board. Yeah. A bit. So as you have got, I've got the most tokens in front of me. I still retain the first player. Yeah. So he brings the first player because he's got the most tokens. Um. Yeah. So you set up the board there for a minute. Now the interesting thing about this game, I actually really love the board. I think it looks like an MC Escher painting, doesn't it? It's kind of crazy black and white. And this is a prototype, this isn't what the final game looks like. Um, although I do really like the quality of the components we have, especially the cards and stuff. These are a really nice size and they're really nice quality. Um, interesting thing to note is that this here, the action board where the dice go, is going to be recessed in the campaign, um, which I think is quite cool. Um, yeah, but overall it's nice and it's very pleasant to look at. The iconography is nice and clear as well. It's easy to understand. Should we have named ourselves with mobster names? Who would have you be? Who who would you? I'm who Lucky you Brian been? Malone. Lucky Brian Malone. This is so accuracy. <laughs> and then the other important question I want to know is: Are the mafia mobsters? Or do I mind getting them confused? Okay. Keep, keep a, putting tokens out. Ma talk while you work. Mafia is a mob. <laughs> yes. And mobsters is describes any group of, org of criminal organisations. So was the Mafia part of Prohibition era shenanigans then? Yes, they were. I don't know enough about history for these things. I've so you'd have, like the you'd have the Irish mob, which would have been big in Boston. Easy. <laughs> yep. And I think that's all everywhere populated with the cops. And we don't populate the places that we tied. Correct. Because so the three, police are two, already there. Four, two... I need to bring it back this round, people. I need friends. to bring it back. So, so let's so. start again. So we roll the dice, we add the control and the cops. We've had the control and the cops. Yeah. Make sure you don't get your own victory points confused with the ones the cops stole. Because I'll put it over the other side. Oh, let's leave it just on yeah. camera. Cool. Right. Well, I can't roll ones. Obviously, I am lucky. You should let me roll them. I'm way better at rolling than you are. That is true. <laughs> Although this game is proving otherwise. That's why I'm lucky. So yeah. So I'm gonna stick with the, the idea of moving tree. This game, this game actually really reminds me a lot of Las Vegas. You yeah. play that the, the dice chucking game, where you have to like win, put dice in casinos to win, and then you're sitting there debating. It's like, what will I use my dice for? Okay. I feel like oh, that. Oh, and I have to do an action as well. Yes. Um, and you have to put it next to your other dice. 
Yeah, yeah. Not below. so we can toddle it up later to see who's uh, feeling six. the heat. Yeah. And then I'll mm -hmm. put down two. And I'll put them down here. And here, because that breaks the top. How did you get to put so many cubes down so quickly? Because there's six lads, we put down two. Oh, okay, let me see what I'm doing. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so let's see yeah. what I'm doing. Okay. Um, Oh, that's a one. I did roll one one. It's, it's never enough. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm yellow, so I will go one. Yeah. So we start with the cubes. Oh, copying me. No. I'm going where my cubes are. <laughs> <laughs> I left them there last round, and apparently they did no good for me. And then, mm, folly ration, the six thing is kind of good, putting out two cubes. Yeah. Now, where do I want cubes? Any Places two. I'm not winning. Okay. Yeah, see you. So I'm going to go with the tradition of moving tree because it's yep. going to be the way to go around the spot. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Three, two, mm -hmm. three, one. Right. The cops are winning on the north side. <laughs> <laughs> That's good or bad depending what city you're in. Yeah. <laughs> we have a north side in Cork. Is it the good oh, or the bad I side? Do an action. Yes. You always forget the actions. Yeah, that's because I have pressed enough cubes as it was. Yeah, it feels like the majority of the game here is working out, you know, where you want to place things. Then you forget that you also get to do something additional, kind of interesting too. Actually, that's not... That's just move something. Make your decisions. Never! Okay, I'm going to end up losing... This. So this lonely guy... Nothing is certain yet. There's a whole bunch of other dice to go. Yeah, you. Alright, where am I trying to go to? See, I don't use so many green things, it's kind of like, is there even a point in trying to stop you? Always trying or to stop helping me. myself. So three. One, two, three. We're going to hang out you and me together in the mobster HQ, where all the hats live. Two. I know uh, copying is a... Imitation is the highest nice form, form of flattery. Vastly. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, so I've done that stuff. Now I need to kill your cubes. Yeah. Oh, killing, killing, my... killing cubes time. Yeah, it's fine. Is it like where... firing a sniper? That's what yeah. I gotta feel like. It's like someone you would, someone was sent so to take you where out. Where is Jimmy? <laughs> one, two, three, four. <laughs> no, that wasn't Jimmy. Ha! That was his brother Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. You next. There's no trees, so I don't know what to do. No, no, no. <laughs> now you have to like make actual motions. <laughs> All the good stuff was on the edges. Um, one, two, three. As there's a six movement. Did women get mobster names? Yeah, but they tended to be. Ma! <laughs> Clyde! You can go with Clyde. Funny, if Bonnie, you mean. Bonnie! <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, well, Clyde enough. could be a woman's name. It could be if you're a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Then I will um, get your mitts off my areas. No. <laughs> Maybe you could just let me win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we play a lot of two-player games. We're not good friends. <laughs> That's because Brian wins. Okay, so now I have Never to determine won. where my meeple goes next. You uh, can't copy me. First in this Why isn't there a three? That row would have been amazing with me in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if I go less than that. See, the shadow is going to end up somewhere too. And I want to give the shadow my peoples. Apparently we're just feeding people to the shadow for victory well, points. Well, apparently we're just getting a historian to write He's, down. Historian Look how I died. Look we at this yes. great battle. Yes, it's true. Yeah. Do you really call them battles? Aren't they just like scuffles in the streets or something? I wouldn't be calling this a major <laughs> battle zone. The Narcotics War of 1990. It was a war. Well, 1920s. Okay, let me see. Um, I don't like it. Okay, so four, five, or two. So we don't want two. So what's next? Number four. One, two, three, four. That's really crap. Five then is better. So we're going to go five. Dun, 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 dun. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All the way over there. A lot of stretching. There's only so many things we can fit on the table at once. Three. Two. I, I was afraid it was going to run out of cubes, but we'll no. We'll have to go get yellow meeples from Temesca. <laughs> no, 
Oh, good yellow meeting Tarmus. Okay, you want five tribes for for Meepos. That's where they all live. Now, now wait. Oh, oh, I know a thing. So, <laughs> I can determine how far the shadow goes by what I choose on my final dice. Correct. So now, I need to make it so he comes to visit me, which would be a two. Meaning I would have to take the four to capture the shadow. Look at me do math! Aren't you Yay. proud? Aren't you proud? I had a moment. <laughs> okay, so four um, is then the one where I could put you in the bin. I'm, I'm you can put your own one in the bin. Ah, oh, policeman in the bin. Why would I do? Why would I put a policeman in the bin? I'm sure he's a good guy. He's just, you know, doing his job or whatever. Um, this is where we're tied. No, we're not. Oh, oh. Boom. And so, this, so that's that done. So next is the shadow, the shadow moves to... Dun, dun, dun. Well, the historian, yeah. really. He's Who not really the shadow. Who used the least man? So you used so many hitmen. I may you're... have done. I may have made a mighty title of 14, and you only made 10. 10 so, so you get to place out an extra cube or two policemen. Please don't mess with my things. I'm finally <laughs> winning something. Look how far in the lead you are. You don't need me or my zones. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I can live with that. I can live with that. We can live with that. Mm -hmm. that okay. With that. So shall we um settle the old score? Settle the score. Settle the score time. Okay. So the police win here. So they always. The police win. always win. <laughs> so they'll take the hats. <sighs> so you get the infusion. <sighs> so next round you can use that to move one cube. One for cube. Any, yeah. Anyway. And of any it's type. Yeah, of any type. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So then I'm going to take the four because I think it's superior to four. Fair enough. I'd still like to know what the police is doing with all this contraband. <laughs> this so, is like, yoink! It's called the good night in. Right out of it. So the police will win him. <sighs> and they'll take down the gambling den again. Mm-hmm. I'll get some infusion. No. Okay. So now this one, I have I five. Win, but so, I'm sacking. So I'm going to take the club. <laughs> I wanted the thing. Give me the token. I'm not doing very well. This is looking embarrassing on camera. I swear, the other times we played this, I did infinitely better. You did win. Which is yeah. why I agreed to play it on camera. Okay. So now, Next. Do you want a club or do you want five hats? I would like um, a club because you have a club and I do not. And it's really bad if someone has stuff you don't have. Oh, thank you. You're very and polite. Please. Did we give our cubes to the shadow? Yeah, I gave your cubes to the shadow. Are you sure? Yeah, because I, I gave thought you needed way more. Because last round I'd won five yeah. to three, and then you got three. Okay. To I'll trust hat. you. I'll trust you. I was too busy hey, we have it on cam. figuring out how. So you get seven hats. Look, look, you're coming back. Why do I, why do I get seven hats? Don't I get to choose? Do you want three hats? It's it's correct. I do indeed want seven hats. Fair Women love hats. Okay, and we're tied with the cops. So I, I get want nothing. an Inquisitor's hat to go up my logo someday. Okay. We can dream big. If you right? win today, you can. I'll buy you one. <laughs> I'm not winning. It's too late for this. So three, In six. So one? that's tied again. No, I was winning. I made sure. Oh my god. Fine. Six. There's six. What's that zone called where we just can't can't duke it out? There's got to be a, a it's zone. It's a neutral zone. The neutral zone. <laughs> Filthy neutral. Am I going to take the three hats? Yes, you are. Do I get something as a consolation prize? No. And the one in the middle, I win that at least, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give me my stuff. So, at the moment, you have a knife and a gun, and I do not have a knife and a gun, so we better rectify that. Knife and a gun time. There should be a smile and a gun token to go with the title. Yeah. Right. right. I now have six pieces of stuff. Yeah, look, you got most of your guys off the board that time. So yes, I have... It. I was running out of cubes. It would have get desperate. I have eight. Okay, I'm catching up a bit. That's not terrible. So you're yeah. still the first player then. And yeah. you get to repopulate the board. Thank you very much. I yeah. always, wanted, always wanted to do I brought you here for the manual labour. Yeah. <laughs> he also set up the board. <laughs> and helped me set up the lights again. Can we put the right way around? Oh, Brian Lee, he will be upset. Yeah. We'll be you happy know who you are, Brian. Shout out. Yeah. We have our friend who loves to have everything in the right direction. And to be fair, it does look good on camera. Yeah. Doesn't it? So what other mobster themed games are there? I know the Godfather had a game. The Godfather? It's supposed to be good though, wasn't it? Yeah, it's an Eric Lang. Ah, yes. Mm. But it's not an overly done theme, like. You know what I mean? You don't find 50 million monster games. I don't think do we have any monster games. We don't have monster games. Well, we do now. We have a monster game. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking right at it. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. You, I'm trying to think of what else. Do we actually have anything to do? No. 
Focus. Focus. <laughs> Stay on target. Just, okay, almost there. So this is gonna be round three, the last round where Nettie has to make some sort of epic comeback. Okay, so I'm out of tokens in the bag. So what happens so now is we take anything that the cops have contraband. Does that include those purple infusion nope, tokens? No, only, only hat hats. Victory. Only hats, okay. Okay, hold on, that's only hats. Okay, cool, only you hats. Give the bag a shake. Yes, it's a nice you bag You can take too. the last token. <laughs> okay, I'll get the last token. It's put it up there in the top corner so you can say you contributed. It. it says you win! <gasps> oh! Amazing, I'm so glad the designer put this in the game just for moments like this. There yeah. we go. So now we have to give them back their police. And the police record the number of the little blue dots on them. Yeah. Oh, there's all cops in the centre. You yeah. can have that one. They're, they're holding the middle. <laughs> <laughs> hold the centre. Isn't that what you're supposed to do in board games with Twilight Imperium? Is that twi your Twilight Imperium strategy? Yeah, hold the middle. The cops have obviously heard of it and are using it amongst themselves. Okay. That two. one has two. two. Yeah, two. Four, five, good? three, Apologies four, if we make mistakes. One. We are humans. On occasion. I'm robotic. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, I still don't get to roll the dice. Go on, you can roll the dice. No, it's fine. Go on, you're the first player. Well, it doesn't say I have to roll the dice because I'm the first player. No, it doesn't. But you it does say... Roll on them anyway. Roll... There we go. Come on, a board game Inquisition hat is at stake. We <laughs> 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 uh, hold me to that? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, sure. Will. Yes. I have it on camera now. You're doomed. Okay, so there we go. Right. So. Right, so now, where am I? <laughs> what am I doing? Yes. Who am I winning? Okay, so I'm going to take it. Interesting. So I go. You come around the edge. One, One two. two. Three. Two. One. So question for you folks at home. Do you often play two, or two player games? What are some of your favourites? Oh, this is specifically action. for two players. I think they're often quite strategic games. This definitely feels a bit over there. Over there, you're all right. Yeah. Oh, you're using the six. Who you? Who? Oh, oh. Use six. so I'm gonna go here. Are you gonna take down the cops? Are you? You know the cops will win, Brian. Oh, shoot. Okay. Cops always win. I go here and here. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Now I have numbers to consider. You leave me I hate actually that you can't just stay in the same spot and put out a row of things because I'm in the perfect spot right now. Um, so okay, you're, I have it, to move. If I had to move, where would I go? I want to go two. Did we roll a two? No, of we course did we roll didn't a two. roll a two. I moved it. And you ate it. Have we been in just in this following each other around the whole game? I pretty made much. many comments about that. I don't care. I don't always listen to everything you say. Very true. <laughs> I probably should, but there's only so much information one can hold on to. In that case, I want to go one, two, three, four. Do we have a four? We do. We have a four. Okay, four it is. No, it's the, some distance. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Trying to take the south side from me. <laughs> have we decided which of this map is the north or the south? No, it's always that way. It's how okay. So this part, yeah, but it's in like nine sections. So which one is the? So north is that way. North that way. So this is the north side. This is the south side. And this is the centre. Well, technically, you'd have to have a river to the centre for it to be divided into north and south. We could arrange a river. I have a bottle of water, and we could just <laughs> divide it into north and south sides. Okay. Yeah. So now I have to pick an action to go with all of these things. I agree with you on the sixth thing. Oh. Well, it says you can put like two, yeah. two cubes there. That's a lot of cubes. That's a lot of cubes. And you know, in times when cubes are scarce and, and money is valuable. <laughs> oh crap! I just realised something important. Mm. There you go. But okay. I can't tell you because you're my opponent. Oh, you can always tell me. Your I'm your husband. Yeah. Four. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I tell you all sorts. One, of One, two, three, four. Okay. No, just stop going where I'm going. Just look, all the yellow is concentrated here. Why do you want to start a gangland war right now? <laughs> just leave me and my needles alone. Honestly, there isn't the war because so many people are, are being put out there. <laughs> I don't like this. You're just trying to invade my space. I'm not invading your space. You totally are. I believe that's the nature of the game. Yep. Space invasion. With mobsters. Just, oh, 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 oh. Is she going to put... No, up here. But, yep. So you're going to be a cop. Where's the cop thing? Where's the cops going? Oh, Jesus. Um, right. <laughs> One. Two. There still isn't a two since last time I looked. <laughs> this is shocking. <sighs> How do I get there? One, two, three, four, oh. five. Run, Nessie, run. One, two, three. 
Oh, shit. One, one two, three, three, four, four, five. So there, yeah. Not the six. The no, I counted right. One, two, three, four, five. I was on the end, I thought. Yeah, you were on the end. So one, one two, two three, three, four, five. Yeah. <laughs> so it's here. One, two, three, four, five. Still not you what I change hope. your move? No, because there isn't a six. Got to deal with my mistakes. <laughs> that was that was bad. Oh wow, well, we're really fighting over this drug trade here. I now have to try to take down the cops as well. It's tough times, tough times in my house. Okay, and then so it's not five, the three or the one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want a one. Okay. I'm going to give a policeman to this one. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, so my go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a treat. This is your last go, Brian. You do. Make it count. Now, before I do my action, I'm going to actually. Uh, <gasps> actually I forgot all about our infusions. Good thinking, Batman. Yeah. You have to do it on your turn, right? On your turn. So I still have a turn, I can do it. It's good. After you've finished everything. After I've finished everything. Now it looks like I was smart and intended this all along. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Except you're missing to not do this. <laughs> 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 on camera. I'm going to move this guy from here to here. Yep. Shout out to this for me. And then for my action, mm -hmm. you've been copying me on the numbers. So it's either five. You've been rolling the same numbers. Actually, I could just give you all the fives to finish if I take the one. So here. Yeah, I take the one and I'll put a cop here. Crazy cop. All right. So I'm left cop. with a five, a five, or a five, you say. <laughs> um, anyway, I have an infusion, but I'll wait till I move. I can move first and then use it, right? You can use it any time during your own time. Okay, so I'll put up my fives now because inevitably that's how this is going to roll. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. Yes? Yeah. Yes, I counted correctly. Did you all see me math? Yeah. Three, two, two, one. Now I have to make some very important decisions. So my five is... I can bin something. So at the moment, I'm winning this one, so I'm going to end up with a yellow. No, you don't. You're tying it. Those filthy cops. Well, I'm definitely winning this one, which has a syringe. So I need to get me some drugs before this game ends. Because <laughs> you don't have one. I'm meaning I'll have a monopoly. So it's very important I win a syringe. As I win a syringe. Narcotics. You can't win one. You don't have any dice left. Oh, wait. You can win one. <laughs> <laughs> So you're not winning that one. You might be winning this one. So we're going to affect this one. And I was using my five to take away a Brian Happiness cube. Oh. In your face. Okay. Um, I never use my infusion, so we'll use it now before I forget. Yeah, so where are you moving the guys to? This is a lost cause. <laughs> but I could get second on this one if I move over. <laughs> There you okay. go. That's my infusion done. Okay. The shadow. Move the shadow. He goes five. Shadows. So, one, I two, three, four, four five. Right back where right he started. Where <gasps> He's going to eat some cubes. Delicious, tasty cubes. To me. So we covered now. Feeling the, the heat. heat. So I can add a cube back. Why Becca? are you feeling the heat? Because add the numbers. Yes. Yes, they are indeed um, smaller numbers than mine. No, no, not that place I blocked you out of. I went so much effort. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, go on. Go on. I might take the hats. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then he was going to have a moment. No. So the cops win him, and they all take hats first. But you get some guns. Yes, and cubes on the th on the man. On the on man. The, on yeah. the, the shadow. The shadow. Yes. Okay. Well, no one wins there. <laughs> Cops win In here. crime, there no. is no winner. Cops take, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cops, so cops take hats, take hats gambling. and gambling tokens. So yeah. you get some more guns. So I like that the cops have an order in which they they will take your contraband. Yeah. Have some more guns. I have a lot of guns. Actually, wait a second. I get guns. You want guns? Yeah. You sure you want guns? No. Okay. But before when you got guns. <laughs> right. Okay. So then, I think you win this one. Four, eight, ten pays my four. Eight. Actually, it's much closer than I thought, so it's nine. Nine plays ten. Give me my syringe. Do you want your syringe? I, otherwise, it's, yeah. Otherwise, you, you'll you get one and you'll win all the syringes. I'll take the two then. Okay. The cops don't get no drugs for No drugs for no you. No drugs for me. Yeah, drugs for me. Okay, all so right. now, I will take the drugs. And you're definitely winning. 
drugs. And you definitely want drugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Get, and I don't even get second on this. Oh, I'm not, I am not better than the cops. Nope. No. No one wins here. Mm-hmm. No one wins there. This kind of like life, really, isn't it? No I one win wins. I win here. Actually, you... No. I, oh, yeah, you do. You just win there. I'll take the club. I'll take the club. It's gambling. I always think it's a nice club, you know. Maybe I'm about to Las Vegas. <laughs> so then, here. Not least. Cops will take the biggest hat. I get to take the next biggest hat. Do you want the four or do you want drugs? Well, you only have one drugs and you're not getting another one, so there's no point in me having an extra because it's only who has the majority. Yeah, so you need another one. Do you have oh. two? Oh, crud. I thought, you know, having the same amount was worth it. Yeah, no, drugs it is. Because <laughs> <laughs> otherwise I get Yeah, well spotted. I'll That's the why four. you took the other green one. Oh, God. You think I'd not played this before? I just every time I play it, I feel like I learn something new. You know that kind of way. Okay, so the game ends. The game ends. Okay, so now, how are we going to determine our mobster victory? And it's going to go in the order in which we score. Okay, so, so what happens first? All right. So we look at the hat tokens. Yeah. Okay. And we add up our hat tokens. I have a number of hat tokens. So I have that's ten. It's you have 20. a lot more hat tokens than I do. I have 27 in hat tokens. Okay. Keep it on screen. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. you have okay. So Five, I have. Ten. 2 and 6 is 8 and 7 is 15. Yeah. So you have 15? Mm hmm. What next? Next, we go to who has the majority in the businesses. Okay. So I have the gambling. Yeah, you have two gambling tokens and I only have one. There you go. Put it on the screen. Yeah. You have. I Drugs. have narcotics. I just realised gambling is more than narcotics. I know you said that earlier, but you know, I need to um, remind me. We have equal in the trade, so none no, of us could, no one no wins good. that at times. Okay, and then we have our counters it's on counter. our cool So I get person. another five points. I get more than five points. Yeah, you get Two, nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So, tell them all up. What did you end up on? So I ended up, so I had 27, 37. 27 and 5, I have 42 points. And Good I life. have 9 and 2 is 11, 11 and 6, 17, 24, 24 and 8 makes. 24 and 8 makes 22. I didn't win. No, no half for you. No. I actually, I, I had so few tokens compared to you. Well done, you out you outmaneuvered me. Yeah. Absolutely. So that is with a smile and, and a gun. gun. Yes. I don't know if I'm finishing this with a smile. So yeah, so that is a smile with a gun. It's gonna be on Kickstarter on the 14th of July. July. I keep forgetting what month it is. 14th of July. Um it's two players only. You can see what it was about. It's pretty fun, isn't yeah, it? It's what good do you fun. think of it? I quite liked it. It's a nice little abstract yeah. nice you game. You have to keep count of all nine locations. Yes, exactly. Um, I, I like how it looks and I like how it plays and I think it's definitely something that will yeah. appeal to a lot of people. So yeah, you should definitely go and check it out. And thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed having Brian here with me. Um, let us know in the comments below um, what you think about the game or if, in fact, if you'd like to see us do a few more playthroughs. Perhaps this took a lot of setting up, but it might be fun yeah, to do it's more. It's hot under the lights, too. It is hot under the lights, for sure. Um, but it's always fun to bring you really exciting, um, new and very cool games. So like and subscribe if you like we do and tune in again next time for not another short and informative board game review um but some sort of curious kickstarter playthrough preview it's a lot of words a lot of words so thank you for watching everybody take care bye bye